I think today is a good day to take you guys into the man cave and show you what we're working on. What's up everybody, I'm Ricky Gadsden and welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to get into modifying our 2020 ZX-10R that much more. We're going to, so when I was at the racetrack the other day, I strapped the bike down. I try, You try to get the bike as low as you can for drag racing, but then the oil pan was too close to the ground. So we ordered a CNC machine, a CNC machined oil pan from DME, real, real nice piece of equipment. And today we're actually putting that oil pan on the bike. So we just took the stock pan off the bike and we're swapping over the pressure relief valve and the oil tube from one to the next. And then we're going to put the new pan up on the bike so that we have the proper clearance we need to lower the bike even further. On top of that, uh, we had our exhaust pipe. We had a bong welded onto our exhaust pipe so we can put an O2 sensor, our Woolwich O2 sensor in there so that I can see exactly what my air fuel is going down the racetrack. These are the things that you gotta do when you're trying to extract every tenth out of the motorcycle. So stand by as we finish put, putting this oil pan on the bike and then go pick up our, our exhaust pipe with the welded bong on it. So this is our stock pan on a ZX-10. And, and as you see, you see how deep the sump is. So the pan sits like this. This is the front of the pan where the oil filter goes. This is the back of the pan. And as you see, this part of the pan sticks way down below and even the plug six sticks down even further. So the first thing to hit is, is the bottom of the pan, especially the, where the drain plug is. So now you go from this, we gotta take, this is our DME pan. This is the same front of the pan. Of course, there's no oil filter. We have an oil filter relocator, but this is the front of the pan. This is the back of the pan, but you see the difference in, that's what we're looking at in height. So you don't have to worry about hitting the bottom of your pan because it's flat also what's really cool about it is again this is the front this is the back so when you leave the start line or all, all of this is filled with oil when you leave the start line this pickup is swivel pickup it swings to the back so when the oil rushes to the back of the pan this pickup automatically moves to the back of the pan where the most oil is so that you never cavitate when you hit the brakes this pickup the oil rushes to the front of the pan the pickup goes to the front of the pan. So there's no chance of not of getting an air pocket or not getting oil. So it's really nice piece. It's a multi-piece unit. That's why they cost so much money. So you have this part of the pan and then you have this part of the pan. So it's it's not a single pan. It's uh, a lot of machining going on here. So anyway, we gotta take this oil tube off here, from here, all right, and then Remember, the oil sits in the bottom of the pan right there, all right? And that's our oil pressure relief valve. So we gotta take this off and this off, switch it over to, this, to the new oil pan.
guess what? More parts arrived. More parts arrived. Um, the day after we got back from testing, a drag max shows up miraculously. No, nah, we ordered it. But anyway, we ordered a drag max. The drag max showed up. No, the first gear is what showed up the day after we got back from the racetrack. The drag max. Three days later, we had it. And uh, today we're gonna put take the transmission out the bike. As you see, I'm here all alone. I, that's what I do. And I'm gonna take the transmission out the bike, put the much needed first gear in there, and the much needed drag max. Um, the jury for me is out on the Q4. <laughs> Unless it's a Jason Miller prep track. <laughs> Q4 is no problem. We've already seen the Q4 go 650s or 60s on a, on a XDA prep track, but not on the tracks that we go to around here. So transmission's back in it right now and I'm putting the clutches in and I notice a lot of soot around the, the fingers of the basket. Now when I look at the clutches, eh, it don't look so good. So I gotta figure out how to make these things last longer because they're not lasting as long as they should. Our 2020 ZX-10R is equipped with a Woolwich Racing. Basically, it's like a full standalone. Um, I got my log box here, my MV3 log box, as well as my Zytronic ZT3 box, which uh, is a wide band. So I'll know what my air fuel is at every point on the racetrack with ram air and effect and everything. I can also go in and change my TP. I can look at my TPS stuff. I can change my ETVs. I can, I can basically do anything inside the ECU. So... This is going to be dangerous. We mounted the PC5 and the ignition module right here behind the battery. And we ran the wires uh, along the frame rail here, right along here on this side for the ignition module, right on up the top here. It's going to go right along the side there. And then the ends, which are here, they get they go with the stick coils. So. They'll loop through here, loop through here, loop through here. So that'll be it for the ignition module. And then you also have your ground wire that comes off of that, which is here. It's going to go to your center post right there. All right. And the, and the PC5 stuff runs along this side of the battery, down this side of the frame rail. And it, too, gets grounded right there. There's your ground. And then it comes up, and it does the same thing as the... Ignition module does with the stick coils. It does the same thing with the fuel injectors, which is not fun. 
So all the body works back on it, transmission is in it, and we just got our exhaust back from the powder coaters today. And boy, she looks good black. I like it, I like it a lot.